I've heard about this trophy race, and clearly no one has taken the best route to winning trophies. Red Prison. We're going to play Red Prison. We're going to play the fast version. We can't update this yet, even though some cards are available online. I can't get them, so we'll just take a suboptimal version because it's going to get improved here once a vow has been said. But let's play some Blood Moons, Magus's Rabble Masters. No need for that season Pyromancer anymore. We're going fast and furious. And in probably, dare I say, League 2, if we get to one, we'll uh, do something crazy. Also, last shout out, 3,700. Play mats are out. Extra life can still happen, but we're going to turn that off and let you all be the focus of the stream. Let's go. Let's go. I'm just, I'm jumping right in. There's, there's nothing stopping me from winning this trophy tonight. It's going to be an easy 5-0. I can feel it. We haven't played Red Prison in a while. Everyone that's played against us just like, ah, there's that fluffy playing them 60 islands or whatever. He's, he's trying to raise money. Not non-competitive player. That's it. We're competitive all the way. Trophy race. Might die tonight when we don't get any trophies. Might start tonight. When we get four, four, yeah. Five match concessions into five match concessions into a four, one. How you doing, Grace? We really, really thought about just booting up something else, but Red Prison was calling us. We literally almost booted up a different game, though. It was, it was almost time, but... We knew that some people needed to be blood mooned tonight. We even have the regulator in this build. I don't like that, but we're trying it. Fetch it with Karn, pitch with Fury. Something interesting that I believe one of our YouTube folks had brought up. We'll see how it goes. Let's go. Match one. And this night might be a short one. We'll see. Dinner's not agreeing with us. We tried something new. It's a bad idea to try something new on stream night. <laughs> Bloons, Rocket League, Duck Game. I actually kind of want to go back to Dyson Sphere, but um, Dyson Sphere is not a very good game to watch. It's like a good game to play, but not one to watch. Minecraft was up there. Duck Game, though. I need, uh, I need to ping Evan. Duck Game. Oh, you have Duck Game, actually. Hmm. Hmm, Duck Game. Yes. Word game. Oh, must be level 20. There you go. See, word game works when you got like 50 to 100 people in here. Then word game. If you got like four of us, we could like all get locked out and we can't win word game. My opponent has declared a Yorion. We have a one lander mulligan. Gotta be, gotta be smart with our uh, choices here. Two lander with a moon here. I'm gonna keep ditch bridge here. We're gonna draw that land off the top two. And then Blood Moon them. We'll start with Gemstone Caverns. Hide that information. We don't have Eidolon's main deck. We're all good. Breeding Pool. Utopia Sprawl. Can I get a, can I get a Ritual? Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you, Ritual. I still got it. I didn't even ask for uh, desperate. I just said ritual. Get crushed, Yorion. Thank you. I told you, 5-0 concessions. Here they come. Here they come. Submit. I owe the Red Prison Discord a uh, and Red Prison community in general for reaching our extra life goal, a sideboard guide. Here's your sideboard guide. Don't sideboard. <laughs> How does he do it? Maybe I should talk about that. This is a turn two Blood Moon with uh, double Rabble Master. That sounds fun. How about just single Rabble Master? We might want this Fury. We won't get the Ritual here, but we'll get the Ritual the following turn. Be good times. Look what I could kill. I could kill that. I'm gonna wait though. I'm gonna wait. We might play lock game here with my opponent. 
Can I get a ritual? Thank you. I made a pact with a demon? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Ooh, Utopia Sprawl on the wrong land here. Blue. There's red. This is too perfect. It's too perfect. It's too perfect, chat. Red card. I'll take it. I will take it. Blood Moon. Cast, evoking to the abrade. Just like that should work. Then we'll put down a little, little rabble master. Ping, ping, ping. <clears throat> Spyro is for slow decks. Ooh. Basic planes. Yorion to hand, you got it, opponent. Look at this. They're they're planning to bounce. But we're gonna we're gonna stop that. <laughs> nope. Blood Moon staying to fairy. Look at that. Look at that big brain fury keep there. Uh oh, Helix. Ooh. Alright, we gotta battle this to fairy. The battle is on. We gotta keep to fairy away from this blood moon. Not playing this in case I draw a Fury. Oh, all right, opponent. We're on the Rage's Edge here. You're so excited to play Prison and Paper again? Yeah. Give me a creature. Uh, it's not a creature. I don't need friends. <laughs> I don't need friends. What are you talking about? We have lots of friends. The flooded strand. There we go. That's a really good draw here. Keeps my creatures around. Keeps Blood Moon likely in play. I can get rid of Teferi next turn and then I can turn to their face. Oh no, Yorion. No. Boo. Boo. <laughs> they found the answers. Another, another Magus, huh? All right. Well, time to go on lockdown. Time to go on lockdown. Little bridge here, little Magus. We're gonna make sure that my opponent will never unlock their lands. They can't attack me either. Teferi's going up. There we go. Karn the Great Creator. Let's start with a liquid metal coating, because why not? Set on draw seems fine here, because I'm going after Teferi. Then I want to go after these lands. Actually, Spyglass would have been better here. But I protect here. I guess I protect here. This is okay. I probably should be getting a Spyglass, though. Anyway. Anyway, we move on. Eight minutes in. Easy game. Next match. Go. This is going to be a fast league. I can feel it. The speed of Rabble Master. Turn one Rabble Master. All right, sounds good. Okay, keep. One gemstone chat, not two gemstones, please. Rogue Goblin, thank you for the reset in 11 months. You're almost there. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh no, oh no. I mean, ugh, I should've put Den into. I'm actually just thinking about casting this Fury. You know what? I like living on the wild side. Wild side, let's go. <sighs> Damage. We should be casting Fury, but something in my gut tells me that this is the correct line. It is the only line. Another Citadel. Opponent does nothing. Den sideways. Combat. Just gonna attack with the two right now. We're almost at the Fury. So this is like true affinity maybe. 
considering I see two citadels and two memnites, three citadels now. All right, a couple affinity friends here. I'm not too scared about all this. We'll send in our goblins to die. Bad hand, true affinity. We got Fury, then we got Dens coming. We'll just pick off one of these. Feeling okay. Oh, cranial, oh, cranial plating. Okay. Oh, Saga. Okay. 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 Well, nine one over here. Uh, that's an easy block, by the way. There you go. Good job. Jack with everything. All right. We'll uh, we'll get the uh, a braid next. Let's go ahead and kill one of the. Friends will pass turn. We got chump blockers. Do need a bridge at some point here. A braid killing cranial plating might be the ticket we need. Probably chump blocking here, blocking here. It's going to be one big token, that's for sure. One big in token. First strike is real good. Problem with this is... Doesn't quite get there, but we can make a 3-2 here as well. 11-4. I think we'll block like this. Seemed appropriate. Let's take another Fury, honestly. All right, I guess we're gonna pass here. They're gonna make a Construct token. No surprise there. One, two, three, four. Makes another construct. Now we're just gonna get another, we can't do that. I probably have to take care of a shadow spear. Okay, so we have to play to bridge here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Karn or bridge will do it. So we have seven outs. Wherever they put this. Yeah, they're going to move it over here. Then they're going to put the Shadow Spear on, I think. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and destroy the construct. We need we need the bridge. If we don't get the bridge, we're in trouble. Karn though, Karn's not bad. Nope. All right. I can block some things here. We'll see how they attack. I expect cranial and shadow spear, and then we'll just hit the concede button. All right, so affinity here. Affinity, affinity, affinity. Um, bring in a pithy needle and spyglass. These are gonna be for earlier sagas. Rabble Master's not very good in this matchup. Let's go. I guess I should have used the Fury there. We needed extra time. It took us a while to assemble everything there. I wonder if the Magus doesn't make sense here over the Rabble Master. Rabble Master might be a little bit better. Let's do that instead. Our braids are good. By the way, we always think about taking these braids out and we're like, nah, we'll run to hammer time. Nope. It is lucky seven moons. I mean, seven moons is probably reasonable, right? Looking for a quick chalice. Karn and Bridge probably in this matchup. See what we get. A couple Furies wouldn't be bad either. All right, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna throw Chalice on the zero. Blood Moon's definitely still not bad for the Urza Saga. Maybe I should have kept the Seven Moons in. Well, let's take a peek. What's going on? What's going on, opponent? Wow. 
Okay. Um, I mean, they're, they're going to play two spring leaf drums here. Plus two maze. I mean, I guess I could just name ours as Saga. I probably should name... I mean, the whole point of Spyglass in here is for Urza Saga, and I have a Karn. One, maybe two, three, four, six, seven, almost to that. Um, I'm gonna do an Urza Saga. I know that they have the cranial platings here. I'm not worried about those as much. Especially if I can get Karn down, down to get bridge. I can use Fury to empty the hand. Basically, I need a land here and Blood Moon. Land and then maybe Rabble Master. I have the Saga taken care of now. This should be two Springleaf Drums. Chalice and Zero might start doing work because they can't play the... Yeah. Get countered. All right, that was their draw. Three artifacts. No land, pass turn. Not ideal. So this is minus three. There's the Saga, but they can't make anything else. There's one plating. One, two, three, four. So this is three mana now. But they don't have three mana anymore. <laughs> they don't have three mana anymore. We're, we're working on it, chat. We're almost there. Stopping the big creatures. Another cranial plating. All right. Um, guess I'll do a chalice on one here. It's not great, but I'll take it. Four, five, six. Can't quite cast these yet. Oh, this is an artifact over here. Never mind, they can they can do it all. They can do it all. Well, that was fun. Okay. Karn, down tick, go get bridge. I could also Fury Chandra. If I do Fury Chandra though, then they just equip two of these and I'm dead pretty quick. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six. So 12, 12, 12, 16 damage. I think I have to play Karn here. I have to go get Bridge. And I have to kill something. And I think I want to kill using Rabble Master here. And I got to kill the Mirror here. So that they can't equip pre-combat here. So the Cranial Platings, they have to throw this at here and one at me. Then I have a Bridge and I should be... I should be fine because I'll have... I, I can have two cards in my hand, but we're not we're not dying here. Okay. By the way, I'm I'm gonna bring the Magus back in. I forgot about Urza Saga. Yeah, land up top deck would be great because I could Chandra then bridge. So one hooked up and the other one on the other side. Okay. No can do, but we'll play the bridge, pass turn. I hope they can't kill the bridge. I hope they can't kill that. We'll find out together. <laughs> Uh-oh, oh no. Mystic Forge. Can I get another Karn, please? <laughs> I, I'll take another Karn off the top, please. 
All right, instead of killing one of these, because we're pretty dead to anything that balances this, because then they just re-equip the plating over, we're going to go up and look for basically an emblem. If we can get to an emblem, I'm going to feel pretty good. Emblem and then kill, and then go for their life total. That'll be the plan. Get rid of this Gigantha. Sojourner off the top. We don't know where it came from. Thought Monitor, draw some cards. Wonder what they're out is to bridge. I'd like a second bridge, that's for sure. What is their, what is their out? Galvanic Blast went away. Chalcon 1 doing its thing. I don't want a Chow Sun 2 <laughs> if we find one. All right. Opponent's turn appears to end there. Uh, we've played Welding Jar before. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Let's go up for damage. Maybe a Karn. Another Chandra's a no-go. Let's play a creature and pass turn. Welding Jar is interesting with all the K commands that are out and about. Um, they do get kind of awkward. That would be my only reservation about it. Obviously bad in this situation. Not necessarily. The bridge could be... St I mean, yeah, because I have the chalices. Chalice and one stops Aether Spell Bomb. Once at 16, some damage from here. Damage from here. And the cranial plating. Dark Steel Citadel. Making blue. Dot monitor. I really kind of want to know what their out is, but I don't because then I'll die. Oh gosh, it's the army. <laughs> it's the army of thought monitors. Springleaf Drum is countered. Now I'm not sure I could kill enough things to be safe. Another Rabble Master up for damage. Another Chandra. Play another Rabble Master, pass the turn. 30 cards. They're getting to see a lot of cards. I wish a Chandra would come at seven and not on the uptick. Another cranial plating. They've got all four of those. Goes over Spire B Silver Bluff, Mirror, Land. 26 cards. Another bridge is really good to see here. Let's go up for damage. Another Rabble Master. I, I'm pretty sure I don't need that. Extra bridge is good. Gives me some protection probably here. A couple of goblin tokens. We can now emblem and we're basically two spells away. We are safe from a shadow spear. Treasure vault disappears. Land drop, 24 cards in my opponent's library. And they concede. So maybe they have spot removal. Maybe maybe they have spot removal instead of like a Hercules recall, which probably wouldn't be very good. <laughs> Let's do Rabble Masters out. The Magus is back in. That's probably the right thing. The Eidolons are tempting, but we hide behind our bridge. So I'm going to I'm going to keep it as is. Yeah, they were either looking for something or decided to play out for a while to make it so that they didn't look like they were just dead to bridge. Which is reasonable. If you watch the clock, you end up playing a little bit longer so that your opponent thinks you have an out, and then you're kind of like, well, let's go to game three. They're like, okay, what could they have? They're playing that red, they're doing this. Chalice and one was pretty good as well because of the Galvanic Blast. I think I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this because the Fury gets rid of some stuff, and if they lead with Urzas and they have, like, s some Springleaf Drums or something like that, maybe the Fury can kill the creatures that are out there. Springleaf Drum, speaking of, Ornithopter. No follow-up. Man, I can't tell you how badly I just want to pop this off. 
and then go Karn. But that would mean Fury of the Blood Moon. What can they do with three mana? Three artifacts? You can kind of do a lot. Who needs Blood Moon? I mean, I have the Spyglass. I kind of want to do this. Let's just let's go for it. Kill that Ornithop. Get that Ornithopter out of here. I feel like this could just win it for us. I mean, this is an artifact. This is an artifact. This might be just like game over. And if they do play that Urza's, pff, doesn't matter. All right, what do you got for us, opponent? Okay, you got another one of those. Pff, ah, game's over. Game's over. One desperate ritual, two desperate rituals. Look at this, Karn, the greatest creator. Concession? No concession. All right. What do I want? Do I even want anything? Nope. Let's kill land. Nope. Let's kill land. Poof. Poof. <laughs> it's dead. My opponent's got an O2. All right, nice hand. There's a saga. Let's go down. I'm gonna get the liquid metal coating here. We're taking a slight chance that they top deck red. They top deck red. Nope, 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 nope. We're good. Let's go, Spyglass. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Beatdowns. <laughs> the beatdowns. Get in there, Spyglass. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 Just wait until I get to Fury them. And I'm holding the Magus because if I get a land here, we're good. Mm. Put this on one to prevent Galvanic Blast here. And go, 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 Spyglass. <laughs> ha! Charge! I think we've got this one. I think we have this one. I like to imagine that Karn just hurls artifacts around. <laughs> that's that's kind of what Karn does, right? That is, that is kind of what Karn does. All right, let's close the door here. My opponents should, should concede to this. Bam. Go, go, Spyglass. Whoosh. We could have animated one of these to really kill some stuff, but we're not that mean. We're not that mean. Go, go, go. Bam. Damage, damage, damage. We'll play a Magus for good measure and pass the turn. <laughs> All right, opponent's at four, and they do concede. Nice. Well, quick 2-0. Onward we go. Got to catch up to those trophy people, obviously. This is what you do. You play Red Prison, you bash people in the face, win the league, move on. <laughs> You look through the spyglass, you don't throw the spyglass. Fluffy winning the trophy race would be amazing. Fluffy's not competing in the trophy race. What are you talking about? Opponent was having the best game three. We were polite, and with the fury, I didn't animate something that would have died. We could have killed the cranial plating there with our fury two and two. That would have been real rude. 
All right, match three here. What is what does Evan say? Don't think, just do. Don't think, just do. That's what this league is. Casually win by accident. This tweet out like near the end. Oh, there was a race. <laughs> that'd be that'd be so mean. All right, we'll keep the turn two blood moon. We'll see what happens here. Got the Fury as backup too. Don't think, just keep. Exactly. Don't think, just hit the keep button. Fluffy, it's all you need. It's the most blue card we play, chat. Look at them blues and purples. Look at them blues and purples. All right, what are we doing, opponent? This turn one play is taking a while. Turn one play taking a while. They're thinking too hard. More color on gemstone than the new SL Blood Moon. Aaron Mesa. Fetches steam vents, shocks in, monkey, mox amper, chromatic star. You're doing a lot over there, opponent. You're doing a lot. Hmm. And blue. I hate monkey enough that I'm willing to two for one myself. When am I getting my own Cool Stuff Inc. token? Probably not. You gotta, you gotta write to them. You gotta be like, Fluffy deserves this. When you send that in, hey, there's an Emery. Okay. Doing this, huh? Oh, grinding station. All right. <clears throat> I know what's going on now. I understand. All right, well, we're just gonna pass. Not a lot for me to do. Blood Moon's okay here. You, you use the Jim Davis ones? This is the artifact copying one, isn't it? And making tokens. This is going to get really weird really fast. A 2-2 two -two wolf token would be very cool. It'd be very cool to have a wolf token to offer to people. Yes, Karn will be fantastic if I can just find Karn. But we need to find Karn first. A Fury wouldn't be a bad pickup here either. Get rid of this Emery soon. Star grinding. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to use your code and request it in the order. Con Go for it. Do it. Do it. Mox Amber. We're making a lot of tokens here. All right. We're drawing. They know what I'm drawing. It's a desperate ritual. I'll just pass the turn. Let my opponent play some solitaire again. Chalice on zero and one looking fairly strong in this matchup. The problem with drawing Karn now is that I would um, lose the Karn to the tokens. You know what's really good in this matchup? Eidolon. Ooh, bonus Emery. They copied the Emery. Okay, it's kind of interesting. Get to copy and get to rebuy a spell. Intriguing. I am intrigued opponent. Need a bridge, then I can get Karn. Then we can talk. I haven't seen any bolts. Why is Eidolon in the board? 
I want to be speed. I want to be speed. Wonder what matters the most here. Chalice on one probably is decent. But yeah, it, it's quite literally, I want to be very aggressive and the meta to me has a lot of stuff that we're okay against game one. And if I have to be faster in game two, I want just all the Eidolons. Cause I'm playing Rabble Master main right now instead of Season Pyromancer. Like Season Pyromancer would be weird into all of these, I, I think. It's a four turn clock from my opponent unless I find a Fury, then the clock gets decimated. What's funny with the Chalice on one is it kind of messes them up with their uh, stars to get out of the Blood Moon, which is kind of interesting. Oh, Chandra, Chandra, Chandra. All right, Chandra, uptick here for damage. Hope to not go over Karn. Bridge would have been nice. What's up, sheeps? Oh, chalice, bolt. They're making, they're making, making servo tokens. I have probably one draw here if they decide to go full face. So there are lightning bolts and unholy heat. So we want to be aware of that. There's an emery. They can duplicate the emery if they wanted to play anything from the cyborg or the graveyard there's thosses that would be a reason to put chalice on two mox amber is a way to get around blood moon with emery out eight to me or are you gonna go after chandra yeah come say hi to chandra and three So I get one more draw here because of this. It appears I will get one more draw. We'll see. I almost lost the dice off the, uh, the desk again. Woe is me. Karn, no Karn, land drop go. Land drop go. My opponent can attack me for nine. One more draw. <laughs> Don't disrespect the dice. I'm constantly messing with these dice. You probably hear them in the background from time to time. I'm at three. Just kidding, I'm at four. Top deck has to be bridge here, I think. A Fury is not enough because they have five damage afterwards. Come on, bridge. Bridge, bridge, bridge. This would be a good spot for a Season Pyromancer. Ritual the Season Pyromancer. Let's see what you can get. Spell bomb to make a token here. Bridge. I want this one. I want this one right here. All right. All right. So we got to beat this kind of weird combo thing going on. I think we can manage, though. I think we can manage. So Relic, just to have something main board, the Eidolons, this Tormod's Crypt as well. Graveyard's not that important in this game. What's more important is probably Torp Orb, Karn, and maybe a Chalice on one. Keeping the board relatively clear and continuing to play our Rabble Masters and Eidolons. If we get them down so much damage, the Eidolon becomes kind of a lock piece in itself because they can only cast so many things. I think that Chalice on one is going to be important this game. Top deck Vandal Blast. It takes a lot to overload that. 
Isn't it like seven to overload or six? Uh, damn the doodle, I cannot get that card right now. <clears throat> the answer is no. It's only been available for less than like 10 hours, right? Or something like that. I don't know. Maybe it's been a bit longer. It's not available to rent. It's five. I guess Val came out like what Wednesday or something like that, technically. Uh yeah, I am planning to run the Chandra. I just I just I will get it by probably what next week? Monday, Wednesday next week it'll become available in Mana Traders. I might entertain the idea of picking one up or two. But I don't know what the price is gonna be online. Hopefully the price on Magic Online is not high because a lot of people don't want the Chandra. But I would be surprised if that's the case. Chandra would be something I would pick up though. I'm I'm happy to pick up Chandra. <laughs> They're like 15 or so. Mm. Maybe not for that much. Maybe if they're like eight, because I want to pick up four. 60 is like two months of rental. <laughs> two months of rental. I don't know about that. We'll think about it. I do want to play it though. It'll replace uh, Rabble Master and a um, Magus in this list, and Rabble Masters will then be replaced with Season Pyromancer, probably. All right, we'll keep this. We got removal, removal, and we got a Karn, which I think is good here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I think I think that's the key. I'll watch for it to be about probably six to eight. Happy to pick it up in six if it hits that. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna try for a chalice on one. Why not? This protects a lot of things going forward. I don't know how long this chalice on one's gonna stay here. But it's here. Okay. Grinding station. That's that's fine. Let's play the game, shall we, opponent? Here's where Eidolon's gonna shine. I don't care about the grinding station anymore. The Eidolon stops him from playing a bunch of spells. Blood Moon would be great against the Saga here. Would be great. Guess I'm gonna pass. Guess I'm gonna pass. Saga goes up to two. If they wanna make something, they're gonna have to wait. Hallowed Fountain and puts it into play tapped. Land. It's not very good for us. All right. Just going to pass. Probably use the Abrade to kill whatever they go get, and then use the Fury to clear the Construct tokens, possibly. A little bit of a shame that I couldn't find that third land for the Blood Moon, but we'll see. We'll see what these are at. There's a star. Okay. It's not that frightening. Bobble, they take some damage. Constructs are a five fives. Another saga. Ugh. All right. Well, I don't want to take that much damage, so let's get rid of the construct attacking us. If we draw the land, we blood moon, we can fury away the other construct, which would be good. <clears throat> Use a little grinding station. I like it. Land? No lands. No lands. All right. I'm still going to go ahead and kill that construct. I kind of wonder if I just throw this chalice out on out on a zero here. Doesn't super hurt me. Two damage, but stops future bobbles and mox ambers. 
do it. Love a land. I love a land. Land, Blood Moon, Fury killed this. Hmm. Going into turn seven, I think. Is Underworld Breach? Oh, okay. Gonna Prismatic. Gotta go for two. Don't accidentally go for one. You can get rid of this. But then they'll be at six. They're gonna Prismatic this, maybe. Oh, two mana. All right. If I kill this, I, I need a I need a land. Why well, I, I need a land anyway. Turn numbers on screen, yeah. Turn seven seven is our next turn. I'm pretty sure I was on the play, so we're waiting for a land on turn seven. It is their turn six, bottom of the turn six. Kill this, don't get these. Go to six. They really don't want to, I don't think. Nah, you're good. Yeah, turn. Yeah, turns are right here. But I'm pretty sure I played first. It's <laughs> taking a while to find this. And we have seven ritual effects too. So we have we have a lot of a lot of things to get me to the blood moon. I just need to find one. I just want one. They don't know what they want. They get rid of this, they can keep playing. They get rid of this, they can play more, but then this is here. I think your only play is to get rid of the Eidolon. You already committed to Underworld Breach. You play Prismatic on the Eidolon, and we see where I go from here. You're not going to be playing a 1 or a 0 here. That's just damage. And let's assume you decide Prismatic on the 0 so you can play the Mox Amber. Fine, but then you take 4. I attack for two as well. Then you're down to two. So this is your play. You gotta kill it. Do it. Do it. Kill the Eidolon. Yeah, you did it. All right. Down to six. Kill the Eidolon. My turn. Oh, we're grinding. Oh, draws. Draw? Just kidding. I'll take an Eidolon or land here. I know, I know right? <laughs> land. Land, thank you. All right, Blood Moon. Get rid of this thing. Get rid of this Saga token thing. Ugh, way. Bobble, they need to draw. Checking them so they know whether or not they want to fetch. Ooh, does not fetch. Okay. I think here I almost would just play Chandra first. Because Chandra would kill them faster than Karn would. And they only have a grinding station at this point. Or I could just beat down with a Rabble Master. That works too. You know, we weren't going to draw another land. <laughs> Turn 8 and 3 lands. It's pretty, pretty standard. Expressive. Got to beat them on the draw. A little harder to do, but we can we can make it work. Um, how many of these do I want? All of them? Being on the draw. Grab the Blood Moon as well. Just got to be more defensive. Doing that because um, Urza Saga is a thing. I guess I could bring this in too and take out... Maybe I just run 61. Let's do it that way. Let's do it that way. 
Urza Saga is a problematic card. If I can stop that on turn one, turn two, we'll be okay here. Or we can Karn on turn one. Do I get rid of Chalice or do I get rid of Fury here? I guess I get rid of Fury. Chalice on one can help protect the Karn. We go up with the Karn initially. No, go away, monkey. Go away, monkey. I am hesitating thinking about doing this for one first to stop stubborn denials and other things like that. I think I'm going to. I want to do Karn on turn two, but now I'm kind of like liking this play. My opponent's going to get this. We saw a lot of stubborn denials, so that's prevented and a few other things. Oh, no, my braid. That's a really good card right now. I would just cash that in, opponent. Just cash that in. Cash that in. What are you doing? Cash that in. Marble. Tulip. Juicy tree. Cheers. How's it going? How's it going? I mean, I did exile a uh, fury. We did have the turn one answer. Opponent, there's no other option here. Cash that in, play that, a braid here. Pass. You can't have the... Oh my gosh. Emery. All right, mock, mock Amber. Kill this. You got it. Kill. Kill. Oh my gosh, they didn't kill it. They didn't kill it, chat. They didn't kill it. Okay, I do need a land. Get rid of that, go up to six, pass the turn. All right. <clears throat> All right, need a land. We do not have the Dark Steel Citadel in the sideboard, unfortunately. Okay, three damage here. You got it, you got it. Three damage here. Don't play this, don't play that, no reason. Why, Karn? We got this. I got you. Three damage here. You don't want to hit me. That's two damage, and then this takes over the game. Three here. Got to battle this. Battle that. Focus this. Karn, the Great Smasher, if you don't attack. Great Smasher. How many turns is it going to take us to get to the third land, by the way? By turn eight this time again? Probably. If I get a land, I'll play the bridge and animate the bridge. If I get a ritual, I'll play the bridge I won't animate. What are you doing? Targets Mox Amber. Reconsiders. Attack two. Me! They go me! That didn't do anything! Wow, Eidolon's really good. It's a really good card. You gonna play that idol on? They play idol on. All right, I like that. Land. Oh, oh, oh. Opponent. Let's play some magic, shall we? Kill this pastor. <laughs> this is really awkward. Look at how awkward this is. Attacks two, attacks two here. Man, I think we just worry about the one Eidolon here. Get rid of their Ragavan, take the two. This Eidolon's hurting them too. Deciding not to attack with Emery. I, I, I haven't quite figured this out yet, but these are the things my opponent wants to do. Three mana. Sahili, ooh, Sahili. Land drop, please. Land drop, land drop, land drop. Oh, they're taking their own damage. Thank you. All right. So 
Since I got the land drop, I think I do what I said I was gonna do here. And I'm gonna activate the bridge and put this up. The Mox Amber's not doing anything over there. This gives me a blocker to the Servo or the Emery. I have to be very careful this Eidolon doesn't kill me. I think if I can, I'd like to get a Dragon's Claw. So top deck land on Dragon's Claw. Ooh. Fairy is really good here, actually. Bounces bridge. That is really good. Hmm. Bridge in hand. It's a six. One, two, three. Uh, we might be in trouble here. I wanted to go get Dragon's Claw if we top deck the land, play the other bridge. But I don't get that opportunity here. Gets another Eidolon. Two, four, five, six, seven. Or tax six to Karn. All right. That's really well played. Bridge. Chalice on zero go. All right. I have a second bridge here, but having to continuously play bridges into the Eidolon is not ideal. <laughs> I need like this bridge, land, land fury or something like that. That's what I'm gonna need. Luckily my opponent really can't play anything here. They to me they should attack Servo Servo Emery here. Then I have to play something to prevent them from attacking with the Eidolon next turn. Which I then take the two, and then they just servo servo Emery if I don't find a land. Fairy up. I think we lose this one. We have We have not incentivized them to really do anything here with the chalices being played. Man, hitting a braid and then the Eidolons was really good. What's really funny is more times than not, <laughs> we lose to Eidolon, or sorry, we lose to Monkey because it steals our stuff. Very rarely are we losing to our opponent's stuff. All right, they make an extra servo token here so they can hit for four. And then bridge is five, six, putting me to one. Just don't play any good cards. Fair enough. Yeah, I get you that Emery in. All right, I need a land. Land, please. Grinding station takes two themselves. Well, we got close to a land. We got something that unfortunately kills us with the idol on. All right, next match. Looks like we can only do best of a 4-1 in this league. It was an interesting one. Haven't seen the Underworld Breach combo in a little while. Took us by surprise. All good, though. Forward we go. Hmm. But there you go. That was a good example of why Eidolon is good to have combos for those control matchups, things like that. You want, you definitely want to defend against those for sure. 
Gotta defend against them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gotta defend. So who do you think is going to win the trophy race this, uh, I guess, uh, what do we call these, seasons? Are they seasons? I suppose they are. <laughs> Just hope Aspiring Spike loses so he has to wear a mullet for a month. <laughs> I did see that. I uh, I did see that. That was uh, an interesting... If he doesn't win one of the trophies... All right, we'll play first. Uh, I don't actually like this hand. Two lands, no acceleration. One land... I do like throwing leagues away, though. It'd be kind of funny to put a chalice on zero and then a chalice on one, but you'll notice my opponent has not revealed any companions here. We probably want to be quicker. All right. I'll take this. Chalice on one in Blood Moon. Let's see what happens. Shall we? Archangel of Thune. Blooming Marsh. Noble, ignoble hierarch. You got it. You got it. We'll put a chalice on one. I'm not going to put a chalice on zero. It doesn't feel right here. Follow this with a blood moon, see what happens. If I could get rid of this, it would be great. Feeling like Yogmoth combo. Speaking of Yogmoth combo. All right, in for three. Go ahead and shut down some lands here. The Scavenger Grounds is an interesting one against the Yawgmoth combo. Well, it's got four mana now. Four mana. What you gonna do, opponent? They have evolution. They could evolution strangle root guys and get Yogmoth. Attack for th three. Nope. We're gonna cord for two. All right. Cording for two to get another strangle root geist. Attack with our rabble master. Here we go, cording for two. I guess it's just another strangle root geist. That is my guess here. Last God would be proud of our opponent. How are you liking your Blood Moon Altar Sleeves? My Blood Moon Altar Sleeves? What Blood Moon Altar Sleeves? <laughs> I 
I thought you purchased those Blood Moon inner sleeves with the sick art. I I have advertised them. I have not gotten around to that because money was going into extra life. I might entertain the idea of going to get them. Here's Yawgmoth, but I do not currently have them. You know what's really cool? From that altar sleeves. The Blood Moons are pretty cool, which is this one that you're talking about. That stuff's pretty cool. Wee. But opponent's doing some attacking things while I go look this up. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to win this. But what's cool. Oh, come on. I did the search properly last time. It's not doing it. All right, so they kill Rabble Master. I do get a token because they've done this at the technically the wrong time. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna find this. You you all hold tight. I will find it for you. My opponent's just gonna Yogmoth combo me and and you know that kind of stuff. I went browsing altar sleeves the other day and. Uh, I found something that I definitely want. Three mana Eldritch Evolution probably from my opponent. Taking damage using Yawgmoth to do their things. We'll have six through the turn. Where, oh, where is it? Because their search functionality is not working. Oh, it's probably not working because I have this on. I'm gonna still keep clicking though. Eldritch Evolution gets a Garros Messenger in my pawn when it can combo us off. This is giving me time though to find this uh, altar sleeve. It's my good buddy. He did those for me at the beginning of COVID. I work on a Utopia Sprawl and Arbor Elf. Are you telling me that I should should give you a, another card to to make an altar of? <laughs> Got the blood moon. You need the bridge and the the chalice. That's what you need. I believe my opponent can kill me here, so I'll let them do that, and I'll keep looking for this uh, this uh, mountain. You can try to alter the whole pawns attack. Hey, if anybody picks up any of those things, you can use the code. Uh, what is it? Degen, I think, right? For the altar sleeves. Our codes are slightly different between all of them. Yeah, Degen is the, that code. Let me try to do this again on another. Because trying to find this is taking forever. I know exactly what I'm looking for. All right, my opponent can combo us off. We're going to do Pithy Needle. I'm going to leave Spyglass behind here. Can I not just click that? Uh, is there anything else? We want a fast moon in this list against them. Torp Orb could be decent. I think we're good with what we have, though. Man, I'm not going to be able to find this. There's so many pages. I put pawns at the F2F event in Toronto. Went 5-2. That's a lot of Blood Moon art. None of them seem to like the hitting the board. <laughs> That's fair. All right. Let me go to Universe. No.
I don't know how many pages I'm going to have to go through to find these. All right, this is a fast blood moon. I'm going to keep it even though we have a million, uh, a million rituals here. Which is not ideal. When I find this, I'm going to save it, obviously. It's taken me way too long to find it. Ignoble? Dot sees. Well, I can make a bunch of mana. They're going to take a blood moon. And that's going to be that. What cards from Crimson Val, if any, are you excited about for modern? Chandra. Chandra. It's the only one to be excited about. <laughs> I don't think there is anything else because I haven't looked. We don't look at spoilers. <clears throat> Unless people bring up specific cards, I don't look at spoilers before the release happens. Spoilers happen too often now that I don't find it worthwhile because it's just exhausting to keep up with them. What if I uh, put this chalice on three? That's probably a bad idea. Let's go to one. Hope I don't find that pithy needle next. How's it going, Lord Kaiju? I'm literally trying to find a card to show the altar sleeve since it got brought up and it's taking me forever to browse pretty much there. Found it. All right. It was on page 30. <laughs> it was on page 30. I'm going to bookmark this. Bookmark this tab under altar sleeves. There you go. All right. Wall of roots. All right. We're going to show this altar sleeve off in a moment. I wish I had like an anger of the gods or something. Wow. Okay. This is a lot of mana. All right, let's uh, see how much mana I can make, and then we'll decide what we're doing from there. We get to splice as well, which is kind of cool. Going up to six, then seven, then eight. We can play Karn here with three left over. I think I'm going to get Bridge. The only thing they can attack with is Ignoble here, and then I can get Torp Orb to follow. Might not be able to get Torpor because of Ignoble. Mm. Bridge. Gonna burn the last ritual here. Play Bridge past turn. This might not work very well before the Torpor because the opponent here can get probably some sort of like Rex Age. But hey, play the Bridge first, see what happens, right? Maniform Hellkite. Whenever we cast an Octary spell, create an XX Red Dragon, creature token with flying, haste, where X is the amount of mana, spent the cast, exile the token at the beginning. It's interesting. I wouldn't be opposed to trying it out. A lot of people didn't like it when we played Glorybringer and Bridge. I wonder what they would say if we played that in Bridge. I kind of want this match to be over so I can show you the altar sleeve that I need to like, I need to work on just getting a bunch of them. Ah. Uh. Can I get, can I, is there anything on altar sleeves where I can get like bulk sleeves? <laughs> I want this sleeve printed a whole bunch. Can you do that for us? <laughs> I 
All right, opponent's doing cord here. This is where I think bridge dies. Be really funny to have Graft Digger's Cage. Maybe I should have that instead of like this Tormod's Crypt. Oh, Evolution. They have Evolution a one drop, but the three drop they get kills the bridge, I think. And it's an ETB, so the Torpor would be better, but then I lose the Karn and they could just attack me. This list uh, attacks us from a lot of different angles. Quakebringer Bridge. A little far from playing that again. <laughs> There's the Rex Sage. There's the remark about ETBs. My opponent can attack Karn for two with the Dryad here. I mean, maybe the Torpor was just better and try to naturally draw a bridge. Now my Karn's just kind of sitting here doing nothing. That's really awkward. Pass. Pass. I'm down a game here. I don't feel like we're coming back from this game. They have five damage on the battlefield here. They got rid of the bridge because they're attacking us. Seven damage on the battlefield. Currently five mana. Ignoble Dryad Wall. Two. Kills Karn. Tax for two, tax for two. Interesting that they leave the Rex Age back, so they have Cord for three. Geralt's Messenger at end step is what they're going to get. Unfortunately for us, we have to Karn, down tick probably Torp Orb. My opponent can attack us for quite a bit here. We take two, go to 16, then it's two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to six here, it looks like. If this gets Garrel's Messenger, we go to six on the attack. <sighs> then I don't really have an out. I guess I could get a bridge. Slows them down a little bit. We even have an ignoble that I have to worry about, and we don't have Walking Ballista in the sideboard. So even if we had bridge and being at six or five or four, they could probably kill us from there. I think if this is Garrel's Messenger, I think we can scoop. I think we can scoop here if this is Geralt's Messenger. Or Yogmoth. I mean, Yogmoth's pretty good too, you know. We're not as low for what it's worth. One card. I gotta beat one card. Can I get a top deck bridge? Karn's soaking up some damage. I don't have a second bridge for Karn to go get, so I'll take up the soaking up of the damage. I'm at 12. I'm going to draw some cards here. They can actually draw up to seven pretty easily here. And then they just need to find like Geralt's Messenger. And Geralt's Messenger can probably kill us. Now our life total, you got to be careful. They can't combo us off if we're like above them, I think. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Guess I'm not technically dead just yet. Ten if they 
get the strangle root guys here. If they do about 10 damage, then a bridge stops for two turns with ignoble hierarch being able to attack. <laughs> Guess we're going to be going for a 3 2. Match. Whoa. <laughs> All right. You got it, opponent. You got it. All right. Before we start this next match, final match of League One, then we'll see what we're doing. YouTube will probably see this as well. So if you go to altersleeves.com, there's some cool sleeves. And our team's code is D-E-G-E-N, Degen, for Degenerate Gaming. Now, we've shown off Blood Moons. We've shown off all kinds of stuff. But there is there is exactly one altar sleeve that everyone should get. Are you ready for it? Who thinks they know... What this altar sleeve is here we'll even we'll even we'll even pull the link back up here's here's the blood moon one right which is pretty que cool this is what an altar sleeve does it 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 um it sits on top just like an inner sleeve and then you don't have to worry about um having it actually uh painted on or stuff like that and then you can keep your your cool blood moon all right so that's you know blood moon but the question for everybody is, what is this other one I'm suggesting that everyone should get? And by the way, six seems high, but when you really think about it, that's a lot cheaper than getting four Blood Moons. You $24 versus like $40, $50 to get an altar. Goblin Kite Altar Sleeve. Mountain. Any other guesses? They're worth every penny and the deck looks sick with them in it. Oh, I, I totally believe it. Any other guesses? I wonder if in this ensnaring bridge has an altar. Now I wonder. Ensnaring bridge. You can just you can just search for these things all the time. Chandra. Here, I'll, I'll show you while you guys guess. So you just go to the website, right? And it's like, oh, you can get 463 universals, which is just like anything for that frame. But then you go, oh, there's five specific for the, the, the Tempest, the Stronghold one, I think, or whatever. So there you go, Grayus, your white border. And just black border them. You can make them these floating borders, which is kind of cool, or borderless. See, this, this is pretty cool, too. You know, so you can, you know, if you're, if you're of that white border variety, you can white border them like that. But if you like a good, I kind of like these. These are kind of nice. Kind of like gets rid of the frame, but the frame is still there. It's a good thing. All right. This altar sleeve people should pick up and I'm going to, I'm going to link it. Click the link. But this altar sleeve, look at that. I was browsing and I was just like, I don't know what I was doing. I was just browsing the mountains, I think, or like lands or something. I, I don't know what I was doing. And I was like, wait, do they have? And they do. They have the mountain. It is the mountain that you want. There's no other land altar you need. You can actually, look, they even have a little tree down here, snow. I am really tempted to like pick up two of these every month. I am really tempted, just saying. Let's play our next match. 
See, here's the here's the problem though, right? Let's see if they have gemstone caverns. And by C, it's basically did an artist do anything? Yeah, they have two. There we go. All right, so like gemstone caverns here, you have like frameless or a little bit of a frame, you know? And if you go for a certain style, like, okay, this, this one would be probably what I would get because all my other cards have frames. So this kind of maintains a bit of the frame still. Is that worth six? Hmm, that's tough. Look, Zale, Skittles. This one's a little bit harder to sell me on, but that mountain, whoo. Uh, while we're waiting for our match. You can even get the emblem. But you go to these and you go to specific. If you go to a unit like specific, this is gonna have like probably the frame remove some. Yeah, that's nice looking. But if you go to the universal, then it's like planeswalker, this stuff. It can be kind of like whatever. You got you got some interesting ones in here and stuff like that. You can have you can have purple Chandra apparently. But like these aren't exactly like they're not like very specific. They're, they change the card a lot more than typical. But some people really like that to make certain cards really stand out. So sweet sight. Yeah, I wouldn't do it for all of the cards in your deck because what is that? If you have a 60, let's just do the main board. 60 times six is 360. I mean, it's actually not too bad for an entire, for a full, altered and you the, you the limitation is you have to be within the altars that they provide it's actually not too bad if you were to like get a full deck altered kind of interesting all right concealed sagardas you got an opponent we got an abrade here thank goodness it's also in euros oh is it i'm not paying attention <laughs> um I'm gonna Magus here. And I'm gonna Fury this away. I'm too, I'm too scared. I'm too scared of them killing me. That that Cigar is aid one creature. That's that's just gonna die. So that's also in Euros. So what is the Euros? Six in Euros, Google. Six Euro two dollar is what? like seven dollars so it's a little bit more in for two past the turn we're gonna beat them down with a two two are the altar sleeves tournament legal check with your head judge what's cool is if they're not you just have a small pack of inner sleeves that you would be playing anyway and you're good you just swap it out if you were to get a true altar and they go, no, you need to find an actual blood moon, then you're out of luck. Then you're out of luck. That's that's the trick, right? You could play with them, but if you can't, and the hedge judge says no, you're you're good to go. All right, enough of that. We're beating down my opponent. They can't do anything because, you know, I've got um. <clears throat> Magus. It won't, f that's true. It won't feel any different. There's nothing that will make it feel any different, which is nice. You'll just be at the discretion of if they think it makes the card not obvious, right? All right. Go ahead and get in with this rabble master here. My opponent's probably gonna try to do Stoneforge and do a hammer on it. Oh, they don't. Okay. All right. Well, this is kind of a cool little area. They think they're gonna attack, and I'm gonna have to block. I'm gonna just dump the hand. We'll do it at the beginning of combat here. Because I don't want my opponent to, to kill me here. That would be 
That would just be rude. But I think that's the benefit of the altar sleeves because I, I personally carry sleeves and inner sleeves anyway to all tournaments in case they break. And so you can you can literally have in your backpack just one little section of just they're great for trades. You trade and you get your altar sleeve or your you get your inner sleeves or your normal sleeves on them. You're gonna have them for some trades for like some some good cards occasionally. And then you can just swap them out. And if you're going to a big tournament, it's just it's just nice to be able to do that. That's probably the biggest appeal to me. I always thought, hey, it'd be really cool to have something that looked a little more unique sometimes. So that's my plug for them. Have I gotten any of the cards? No, but I've seen them through Evan's stream and a few others. They look pretty cool. Yeah, extra sleeve. I mean, you almost always have some extra sleeves lying around, right? All right, they played a few more creatures here. We're going to play lands. The scariest thing for us to run into is an Ornithopter. So if I can get a Chalice on zero, I'll feel super safe. Until then, I'm going to make a wall of tokens. When I get to about six of them, I'll attack. Six or seven, I think. I have to wait for. I'm going to have to wait for more every time they play something. Because I have to go wider than them. Apparently, my opponent was just sandbagging a thousand creatures here. Yep, I play blue sleeves that say draw go, then I drop a turn two blood moon and surprise them. <laughs> That's the next level thinking there. All right, apparently I have to go really wide on this opponent. Memnite's good to see, not an ornithopter, very important. All right, she'll do it for us. Pay for one of these, I won't pay for the other, obviously. Let's uh, finish this opponent off. She also protects from an Ornithopter, which is super nice. If they were to play an Ornithopter, I could down tick her and then force them to put or equip something onto it to save it. So that's really good. Really good. Raven Inspector. Man, this, this opponent's got a lot of one drops. Like an excessive amount of one drops. I like a, a different version of, of Hammer. They're like trying to do this. It is a unique Hammer time list. Extra Spring Leaf Drum here. Chandra? I mean, that's always fun. <laughs> Play a Fury here. And One, two, three, four. Cool. Kill a few things, right? <laughs> what do we got? Hammer? Save one of these? Ginger Brute. Okay, Ginger Brute was a smart play. They gained a little bit of life, giving themselves an extra turn or two here. I like it, I like it. I don't think it really changes anything from where we're at right now. Here comes Luris. Luris to Ornithopter. Okay, this does change things a little bit. So they should play Ornithopter here, and they do. Now they have a Flying Threat. I need a removal spell for Ornithopter. That'll do. Let's go ahead and lead with that. This is a really good draw here. Two and two. Ornithopter has to be protected, and I can go up with Chandra. Nice. It's a good draw. It was a good, it was a good top deck. Uh, we run it back here. We don't want to bring Eidolons in this matchup because my opponent's too fast. We really want to basically have a quick bridge and a Blood Moon. Blood Moon prevents an Ink Moth kill. Uh, chalices can be nice too, and Chalice on zero is totally fine in this matchup. Chalice on one is what you prioritize, though, if they don't have Sigarda's eight out. If they have Sigarda's eight out, and you have a bridge, Chalice on zero is not too bad. Yeah, Chalice on one will be pretty good too. 
And here's another matchup where we want the abrades. We've run into a lot. We've run into a lot of matchups where we want the abrades. All right. What do we got? Any new cards? I can't give Val cards yet, so no. Mm. I don't like this hand. I like this part of the hand. This needs to be land or ritual. I'm gonna mulligan. All right, I'll keep this. I'm gonna get rid of one blood moon here. Maybe I wanna keep both blood moons. Nah. If they thought sees me, they thought sees me. If they thought sees me, they thought sees me. There will be, yeah. We'll be playing Chandra Dressed to kill. Whenever we can finally get that card. Yes. So because Thopter is an O2, it can attack. And because it can attack under the bridge, as I like to say it, but basically if I have zero cards, it has zero power. Once it attacks, they could equip double hammer and because it's evasive as well. Um, it definitely stops things. Here they should take Blood Moon, I think. I think you should take Blood Moon. Yeah, it's like Ignoble Hierarch and other... Wow, they took Karn? Okay. I really don't agree with that. All right. I'm going to play a Blood Moon here. This stops Black, stops probably Lurus for a little bit too. Getting us closer to this bridge being active as well. I don't know. Maybe my opponent will have Sigarda's aid and hammer. Extra planes. It's pretty good. Pure steel paladin. That is also good. This could be problematic. To draw a lot here. Shadow Spear. Okay. Attack for one, pass turn. All right. I'm going to pass the turn with a braid open. They know about the bridge. Bridge is safe because of Blood Moon protecting us from Silent Clearing being Black Source here. I want to see what their first spell is they go for here. Especially with Pure Steel Paladin out. I'm going to let this resolve. This needs Melcraft, which is three. Never mind. I forgot Esper Sentinel is one of those. My bad. I forgot Esper Sentinel is an artifact. This is a miss on my part. We're doing this now before it equips. <clears throat> they get an extra draw. We're, we're a nice guy. Happy Friday, opponent. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll play it after the next hammer. Forgot. Stone Forge. Colossus Hammer. Extra Sentinel. Tax for one. A ritual is pretty good here. You can actually prevent both of this. And then play our bridge, pass turn. Okay. Again, we're in this stage that we're afraid of a Sigarda's Aid plus Ornithopter. They don't have either right now, so we're in a pretty good spot. They may also have brought things in to kill bridge, so something that kills bridge, like Disenchant or something, definitely not very interested in. Lurus going to hand, can play, because they have double planes. We have a Pure Steel Paladin. 
it'll be two turns to get all that going, but they do have that coming in the next turn or two. If they have Bob, I'm in trouble. If they have Bob, I'm okay. They can't play Bob, but I would be okay with that. Fifth land, Fury is an out to some of the cards we could draw. I'm expecting Flurris here. Hooks up Shadow Spear and plays Luris. That's good. Three on my first spell every time. Thoughts on Spyro versus Rival Master after this league? Let's find out. Let's find out. <laughs> Can Rabble Master go wide enough before my opponent finds an answer? I think right here is a great example where I would actually prefer the Rabble Master over this season Pyromancer because drawing two could get really awkward with the bridge. There's the Ornithopter. They just need a Sigarda's aid now. And now I need an Abrade or some way to kill this. That's not it. Pass turn. <laughs> Please no cigar to Zade. I'm pretty sure they have enough hammers in hand. Sentinel. Going another turn. Any spell I play draws them some nasty cards, though. That's if it's not a creature. To me, I think Rabble Master is a little more in my preference. <laughs> it's one big sentinel. One big sentinel. Okay. So this is really good. We're going to put the chalice on one. This prevents a Sigarda's aid from showing up. Which is really good for the Ornithopter. We're going to prevent all the ones that we can here. I like that they scattered these. I have to pay one, two, and an eleven. <laughs> But I, I do like that they've scattered that out. I think that's smart. All right. The question is, can they get out of our bridge and chalice lock that we have now? And how are they doing that? Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> We're gonna find out. They may they may draw as many cards as they want here, but we're gonna we're gonna keep putting chalices out there until we find when they they finally give up here. I mean, it, you would think it's a lockdown, but my opponent could have a spell at three. They could spell four. They can have spells at different. Even though Luris is here, spells at different CMCs or mana values. I think we've got most of it covered at this point, though. But who knows? Maybe they're explicitly playing wear and tear for the good old Blood Moon matchup and they confuse it to get it up to three mana value. <laughs> who knows? They also could be playing Engineered Explosives. This is something that's typical with Luris. And EE on zero would get them out of this pretty nicely too. So it's probably not quite over yet. We'll see though. We will see. We just opted for two because I think it's the safer one. We can look at zero next. Uh, prismatic ending works in general because you can pay enough mana into it and get around the chalices. So you can still pay like three or four mana into it. So prismatic ending is just something I could never counter if that's what they had. But there you go. Little three two here, red prison doing its thing. I don't think there's much else to be said. That's your league.